Well, I've ended up now in the uh, True Track booth with my old buddy Dick Rhodes, who's got a brand new product here to show us. Dick, you're breaking into the saw track market. Give us the overview on this baby. Well, the, George, the overview on it's really quite simple. Uh, track saws, when you learn how to use them and you learn what they do, can be a tremendous asset to your shop. One of the real stumbling blocks has been you had to have a specific saw to match up to a specific track. A lot of guys have their own circular saws. They want to use them. They want to keep the budget as low as possible. So what we did is we designed a track saw system that uses a universal plate. With that universal plate, you're able to mount your saw onto the track, and it works like any other track saw. So the big question is going to be price point. Where does your product come in? We start off at a regular price of $170, and that will get you enough track to cut a four-foot piece. And then if you want to go up to an eight-foot piece, we have an additional extension for an additional $100. And it's a modular system, uses a sliding dovetail give so that you're able to keep adding if you want to. We have customers that go out to 12, 16, as much as 32 foot. And like some of the other ones, does your product provide zero clearance so that I'm eliminating the chip out on the upside? Yes, if you look at the edge over through here, we've got our anti-chip and also our anti-skid built into one piece. And that is replaceable, that is your wear piece simply slides in and out of a T-track quite simply. All right, so we've got that on the track. Is there anything for zero clearance on the bottom of the saw? Yes, we do. If you look at the bottom of the saw here, you will see that there is an anti-chip piece that glides on the outside of the saw blade. And so that gives us anti-chip or a true zero clearance insert around the entire blade. Now, it's gonna be imperative that the blade is perfectly parallel to the travel of the track how much time does it take the average person to get that set up? The average person will spend about a half hour putting the saw onto the plate. Uh, they can do it. We give you a real simple jig that allows you to get it done. It actually can be done in three to five minutes, but everybody always likes to do it two or three times to make sure it's done right. They're splitting hairs and getting it right. Well, this is cool. I, you're going to have a lot of success with this product, you. and uh, you're really on the cutting edge of technology here. Very Thank good. You much.